As doctors, the term going viral can mean so many things. It can mean running a fever, maybe you've got some cooties, or you're an internet sensation. Turns out Dr. Mikhail Varshavsky knows about both. His name is Mikhail and he's a medical doctor, but millions know him by his face. He's Dr. Mike, otherwise known as the hottest doctor on social media. In 2015, People Magazine diagnosed him sexiest doc alive. And since then, he's gone viral with 2.6 million followers on Instagram and his own YouTube channel. This week, I'd love to share with you my evening or night routine. I'd love to rest, but I can't just yet. Because it's gym time. Because it's gym time. And now the ladies of the internet are asking, does Dr. Mike make house calls? It turns he does make house calls to our stage. Please welcome Dr. Mike back to the show. Wow. Wait, real, real quick, a bone, a bone, a... So, Dr. Mike, 10 years hosting the show, Dr. Orton and I have come out here and never <laughs> once, <laughs> have we received that kind of reception, so kudos to you. Yes, you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You've got a few more followers than we do. And that last name, Varshavsky, you're Polish, right? I'm Russian-born, actually, not okay. a spy. Okay, okay. But still, <laughs> Eastern Europe? Yes, yes. So the female not fans, I'm curious, <laughs> since last time we saw you, are they recognizing you more? You're clearly out and about. Yeah. In the city. I'm in the community. I'm trying to run around and do some medicine on the street, which is not something that you traditionally see a doctor do. <laughs> uh, no. Especially in New York and yes. Jersey, probably. But we have fun with it. A lot of people recognize me. More people now, more than ever, are coming to see me. And because I'm a doctor that focuses on prevention, we can catch cancers early because of these selfies. It's pretty amazing, actually. Oh, I like so, that. So people come up to you on the street asking for medical advice, or? So I do something, a segment called Street Medicine, where I run around the streets of New York City and just say, hey, I'm a doctor, what question do you have? Really? And you'd be surprised at the stuff now, that we hear. Where, where, does that, where does that air? YouTube. YouTube is a, it, it's on the internet? <laughs> and you want See how many things I have up on YouTube. Go check it out. Oh. <laughs> By the way, Dr. Botcher, you've been speechless a little bit. I, 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 I feel like the luckiest woman on the planet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, but I understand. Congratulations are in order. You just Thank finished you. your residency. Yes, just this July, family medicine. I'm officially official in New York and New Jersey now. Licensed in both states. People's sexiest doctor alive, correct? Yep. In November 2015, since last you came. Yep. Any tips for these two incredible doctors? Yeah, listen, we'll take all the tips we can Well, get. I, I don't know about tips for these guys, but how about a tip for all of this panel to be on the next People magazine, Sexiest Doctors Alive? Yeah. Yeah. We can, I, I think I need can span, span the decades. <laughs> yes. Hey, real quickly, news on the street. You have a girlfriend since we saw you last? I do have a girlfriend. Um... <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> she's a sweetie. She's, she's a beautiful lady. Um, she helps me a lot. Um, she's actually in the business. She is an anchor for Good Day Wake Up in New York. Oh, very good. And cool. she teaches me a lot of what I know and how to be comfortable in front of the camera. So if I mess up today, blame her. Well, oh, tell us no. about the Limitless Tomorrow Foundation, because I know yes. that's a charitable organization. Absolutely. I'm so passionate about giving back to the community because of all the fame that I've gotten and all of the reception I've gotten on social media. I said, what's the best way I can give back right away? And that was by starting this foundation that gives back to people that are just like me, had financial issues, came to this country with nothing, but worked hard to achieve what they want. So I don't look at strictly GPAs. I look at them as if they were a patient. I look at them as a whole. I don't see a disease. I see a whole person in front of me. So we interview people. We see who's going to be the next leader of tomorrow, and we give them some money to overcome their financial challenges and meet their goals.